Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's play Survivor's Bane. So with Survivor's Bane, we have three options. We have Shassar, we have Ashwold Cemetery, and we have the Endless Mode, which is in Frozen Tundra. I'm going to be playing the Ashwold Mode today, and we're just going to be talking through the skills and everything that I generally go for when I'm playing this mode, um, and what I find works well to complete it. So here we've got some different options. I'm going to go for the Hydra, um, and I generally go for quite a lot of ranged skills for uh, this game mode. Here I'm going to go for Spinning Shield for um, from Crusader. That one works really nice. So Hurl a Spinning Shield, inflicting damage to all enemies in its path before returning to deal more damage. So generally, as I said, I use a lot of ranged attacks in the build for Survivor's Bane. Let's see what we've got now. Um, skeletal Mage or Command Skeletons. I'm going to go for one of these um, because they always work really well. Um, so I've gone for Command Skeletons first. And then now I'm going to go for the um, Skeletal Mage. Uh, so the Necromancer skills I find work really nicely in Survivor's Bane. Um, obviously I play Necro as my alt character. For this I'm on my main currently. And we have got the Magic Missile. But you can see already with some of the skills that we've selected, you can kind of just stand still and not have to do too much. Um, here I'm actually going to go for Whirlwind. I really like using this in Survivor's Bane. Makes things really easy. And here I'm just going to upgrade on that one. Um, so yeah, I really like using Whirlwind. We've got all of our skills equipped now and I'm quite happy with the choices that we've made. So um, this setup works really nicely for Survivor's Bane. I find it really easy. And here I've just grabbed the um, Disintegration Shrine as well to make things a little bit easier with these mobs as they approach us because this will give us obviously more orbs to level up and um, gain better uh, advantages from all the skills that we have equipped. As we progress through, I'm not going to go through which skill I'm upgrading simply because I will get all of them to max level. And obviously I've kind of already explained why I've chosen the skills that I have. As you can see, this works really nicely. My summons are basically killing everything and I'm just wandering around picking up all the orbs and leveling up, which it makes it a lot quicker having a whole army of summons. So obviously we've got the fire hydro, we've got the skeletal mages and we've got the skeletal warriors as well. So this works really, really nicely for Survivor's Bane. So for those that are new to my channel, you won't be aware that I originally called this game mode Survivor's Pain in the Arse, um, simply because I just found it really annoying, but they have made some changes to it. It is a lot more fun now, and actually it has some really, really good rewards. Uh, if you're new to the game and you're still grinding your Paragon levels, this is a super fast way to get a lot of materials. You get so much scrap material for completing it, which I will go through at the end and show you. Um, but it's actually quite a fun mode. A lot of people compare this to kind of old school arcade games and it is a little bit like that, but it is just generally a lot of fun, especially as you can see, um, like with this build, you can come up with like your whole own army with just summons and it makes it quite fun to just try out different builds, try out different skills. And also it might give you ideas for different classes you might like to play in Diablo Immortal. I think a lot of people don't change classes. I mean, I've stayed wizard since the start. However, my alt character, although she's Necromancer at the moment, I have played several different classes on that. I've been Demon Hunter, I've been Blood Knight, Tempest, Monk, a few different ones just to try them out. And I think this game mode gives you an idea of some of the skills that you can use and obviously what works and what doesn't work. So it does make it quite fun. Now I'm going to grab the Disintegration Shrine here. I did kind of grab it to kill that boss. However, my summons got to it first. And here we have a good upgrade. So I'm going to go for Catching the Shield will heal you um, because this works really nicely. And we've also got our first bit of equipment here. So there's several different choices. And I'm probably going to go with, I've gone for the one with the area of effect duration 20% as well. Um, so yeah, you can kind of just choose whatever you want to with this. Um, we've also got another potential bit of equipment up here if we can defeat the elite monster. Unfortunately, my disintegration shrine ran out just, just as we got to it. Um, but you can see my summons are doing a lot of damage. I'm still really not having to do that much um, other than walk around with well, whirlwind active and magic missile as well. Um, so as I said, this is a really easy build. I'd kind of call this the lazy option for Survivor's Bane because once you get to max levels on all of your skills you can kind of just literally stand there and not do a thing because your summons are doing everything and whirlwind is keeping you pretty safe as well so uh it's quite fun to play it like this 
Um, and we will complete this whole uh, level together today. So Ashford Cemetery, we're going to do the whole thing together. Um, instead, normally I would just kind of cut it short and show a little bit of the gameplay, but we'll do the whole thing so that you can see all the options that I go for. And we're going to just keep collecting equipment. So here we've got Helm. Obviously, once you get your equipment, you can upgrade them as well. I'm going to go for the projectile count increased because this will help with the skeletal mages. It will also help with magic missile as well. Um, and yeah, it should work quite nicely in this build. Now we have another swarm of mob. So we're going to see if we can defeat these with whirlwind, which actually worked really nicely there. And obviously all my summons as well helping with that. So we're already at level 17 and four minutes in and we've just leveled up to 18 as well. Uh, getting closer to maxing out another skill. So the reason I wanted to max out the spinning shield first was simply for the fact that obviously catching the shield will heal me now um, because this makes survivability really, really easy in Survivor's Bane. I would say that skill is actually a must have. Um, having the spinning shield, whatever you decide to do build wise, I would always recommend going for spinning shield. Um, because simply it's going to just make things so much easier for you, um, especially once you can have it maxed out with that heal. Um, we're going to just keep upgrading, as I said, all the other skills, but once we get to the max level on them, I will talk through which um, alter alternation I'm going for on that, which option I'm going for um, and why. Uh, we've also got another shrine here, so we've got the Conduit Shrine, so that will give uh, lightning. Um, and we're at level 20, so Whirlwind, I can do Lightning Damage or Fire Damage here. So, I think I'm probably gonna go, I don't know which one to go for. Like, these are both pretty cool options for Whirlwind. And to be honest, I do mix it up, so I'm gonna go for the Fire option this time. Um, but yeah, you can see, <laughs> it's, so, it's so good now. Maxed out, Whirlwind is awesome. Um, and it also increases your movement speed a little bit as well. You may have noticed that when Whirlwind is active, I move around at a little bit of a faster pace. And look at the amount of orbs that are now dropping. This is insane. It's going to be so quick to level everything up now. Um, Magic Missile, I'm still at rank one, so I do need to go back to that and focus on it in a second. The Conduit Shrine, I've left for a minute. I'm going to wait until a boss appears because I might need it to help with defeating that. Um, and we're getting too close to max level as well on skeletal mages and skeletal um, warriors as well. So this is such a fun mode. Like if you haven't played it yet, honestly, I hope you actually give it a go and enjoy it. As I said, even if you don't enjoy it, it's so worth it for the event center rewards, for the scrap materials. You get a bunch of legendaries for completing it as well. I always get so many legendaries for playing this mode um, because you just, you just get a lot for playing it. It's so easy. And uh, so, we're gonna go for skeletal champions are replaced with skeletal archers and will not be attacked. So that gives a little bit more damage having the skeletal um, archers or we could go for the ones that deal lightning damage but I always prefer to go for the skeletal um, archers here. And we've got the conduit shrine now ready to defeat this boss and you can see I'm kind of just standing still here and not really doing much. I'm just letting whirlwind do its thing. Try not to take too much damage. My spinning shields aren't, aren't manifesting quick enough for that. Um, but boss has been defeated by my summons there again. So super, super easy. And now we get to choose our chest. So there's some different um, options here. I'm probably gonna go for the one with area of effect skills. Range is increased by 20%. So that is what I've gone for there for that piece of equipment. And we're just gonna continue on. We've got another treasure chest here and we've got two more elite monsters to take down for extra equipment um, so this is going to make it a little bit easier to hopefully we'll max out like hopefully we'll get all six pieces of equipment um, for some reason I think we should have had two of the elite spawn when we had the last one on its own so I'm not sure if we're going to miss a bit of equipment for this mode this time but we'll just have to wait and see what happens So you may have noticed I just keep repositioning myself here but then standing still and that is just so that Elite walks straight into my Whirlwind damage. And here we get to choose our offhand. I'm probably going to go for Azkalor's Fire. So critical hit chance increased by 20% and projectile radius is also increased by 20%. So as I've got Magic Missile and we've got quite a few summons that are firing um, missiles, this should help um, with the projectiles. Um, we've got Skeletal Mage obviously, we've got the Skeletal Archers and we've got Hydra as well. So I'm hoping 
that that increase will apply to them as well. Now we have another upgrade and it is a max upgrade on Skeletal Mage. So I'm going to go for Bone Spirits are released every second, dealing damage to all enemies in their path. Now I've seen this in action before in Survivor's Bane and it is insane. It goes so quickly and yeah, it just makes it even faster to like deal damage to these mobs. And you can see how quickly everything's being taken down now. Like there's so many orbs all over the ground and you can see those Skeletal Mages are literally insane, like firing super fast. Um, yeah, just makes it so easy to play. We also now have a horde of treasure goblins. So you can see there was 12 in total that dropped. Um, at the top in the middle, it shows you the count of goblins and how many are left. And you can see, again, this build is perfect for this. You can just take them down so easily without even really trying. And um, look at the crazy amount of equipment that is dropping as well. So much gear. Here I'm gonna go for Chaos Nexus. So movement speed is increased by 30% and for every active summon, damage is increased by 6%. Now, I have a shitload of summons active. <laughs> like We've got Skeletal Mages, Skeletal Warriors, and we have the um, Hydras as well. So yeah, this is the best option because now we're gonna be creating even more damage. And you can see orbs are just dropping really easily. So we've only got two more skills to fully upgrade now. We have Magic Missile and we have Hydra. And I'm just going to go around and keep collecting the orbs. That's literally all I'm focusing on at this point. I'm not even trying to kill anything now. I'm literally just picking up these orbs. Now, there's a disintegration shrine right there. And I'm keeping that for when we get the next boss spawn. So I'm going to try and stay in this same kind of area while we continue. Look at the amount of orbs that are here from where my summons were killing just now. This is so good. Um, super, super easy at this point in the game. Um, and like I said, we'll have all of these skills maxed out, I think. Um, we have a Conduit Shrine here, so I'm just going to grab that because I already know that I have a Disintegrate Shrine ready for the next boss. And um, we've got Upgrade here for Magic Missile, so I'm going to go for Magic Missile Becomes Chain Lightning. Um, again, this works really nicely and it just covers a slightly larger area than the normal Magic Missile, I find. So that's why we've gone for that one. We've got some more blues that have just spawned and um, when we take them down, we'll get obviously another skill globe, which looks my, like my summons are doing pretty good on that. <laughs> another upgrade. And like I said, just collecting all of these orbs now and this build is the easiest, the easiest one that I've put together for Survivor's Bane. Literally no effort whatsoever in this. You're just focusing on collecting orbs and nothing else. So the final boss has just spawned and I'm gonna grab this shrine and literally look at that, dead within seconds. So that is it, that is that mode over. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to max out the last skill and we were still missing one piece of equipment just because we didn't get one of those yellow elite drops. But look at the amount of gear that we've gained from completing this. That is so good. Um, and considering it only took nine minutes, like it's definitely worth the nine minutes for that. Now there's a lot of achievements that I've already claimed here, so I'm just showing you. There's the only ones that I've got left are um, for the different modes in Endless, which I don't really always play that, and obviously for the different classes as well. I haven't maxed out two skills on all of the classes. There's still a few days left for me to do this, so I might play this um, as I'm capped on all of my other activities in game at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's quite fun uh, to do these different events, uh, to do, sorry, all the different tasks for the different rewards there because there's quite a lot to gain from it. So we're going to close this now and I'm going to show you the amount of equipment that we've got. So you can see at the bottom, gaining loads. I've got no more space in my inventory, which was completely empty before I started playing Survivor's Bane. And then I have all of this in my mail as well. So I can't collect any of this yet until um, I get my pet to salvage everything. But there is a lot, there is a lot of equipment. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. I do enjoy this mode, like I said, and this build is just super lazy to play as well. So that's it from me. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.